Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Sweden is 100% totally overpowered campaign in Europe Universalis 4. Still upgrading our forts because we can. Uh, did I just build a fort in a... I upgraded, right? I didn't start a new one. Yeah, okay. Bastion and Finn. Perfect. Let's get a Bastion up near Poland. Not that I expect that they're going to siege anything. But hey. I like the idea of really fancy pants forts. Probably should get rid of this one in Mimel. We already got two adjacent there. And I think I have probably too many over here as well. Still have a little bit of unrest in Peskov. So we'll keep that one for sure. This one does a good job of protecting like this area around here and like blocking movement that way. So I like Peskov. I like Riga because it's coastal and hard to block, hard to hard to siege. Rival seems completely unnecessary to me. Latgalia seems unnecessary. Let's be realistic. No one's ever going to get to Rival. No, no one's ever going to get to Neva either. Novgorod's not necessary because of Skov. Guess we could keep Neva though. Just because this Neva blocks Ladoga, and then Cargo Pole blocks Solonets, so this whole this whole northern region is protected by these two forts. No one can go up that way. Not that they ever would, but and we don't have a fort over here, do we? I'm building one. Building straight to a bastion. That's good. Um So that means the cargo pole goes to Ustig. They go here, then they have to go here, they go here, they have to go down there. So again, same thing. These two are far enough away that they protect each other. They kind of protect the passage of troops, is what I really mean. Okay, that's good. Um, these ones, I don't know why I'm upgrading this one. This is stupid. The capital, definitely. I guess this is okay. I mean, it still kind of prevents, like, a defensive... Pre not prevents, but, like... If they actually took, like, troops up into the Luf... Foten Sea and then land in Finnmark. Based on our current forts, they could just kind of have open rain up here and then come straight down this way. It would actually be better if the fort was in Jompland. Or Lapland. Because Lapland would protect a lot of stuff. And this one's pretty good. Although I'd Sivo again would be better. Well, no, they kind of both have the disadvantages. But Trundalog. Can't cancel a building in pro. Oh, yeah, you can. Cancel it and then destroy that. Um. I can see myself getting to war with people who have boats, and that's my only concern, is that they might try to land up here. I want to build one in Lapland. 645 ducats, damn! There's one hell of an expensive castle on Lapland. Herm has declared war on Muscovy. Of all the people. What do they have? Claims? Cores? Well, they've got claims. They've got cores on me. So they won't accept vassalization. Not peacefully. Okay, we were almost through with looking at forts. And I've already upgraded these ones, so I really would hate to cancel them. But, yeah, mid Jillen seems kind of unnecessary, doesn't it? What do you think? A fort behind a strait, is that good or bad? Because if you blockade the strait, they can't cross it anyway. Oh, 
But if they go to Slevsig, they can't go to Midgilland because they've got to go to Finn. But if they can't cross the strait, then they're just stuck in Slevsig. So they could siege down Slevsig and that's it. It's just not even worth much. That's good. Let's get rid of the Midgilland. And then Skane. Again, I feel like this one just doesn't have very many adjacencies. Plus, it's already it's sharing an adjacency with the, with this one. I shouldn't have upgraded this one. Cancel and remove. If we were going to have another fort in southern Sweden, southern this area, it would probably be like Vaster Gotland to provide adjacencies with these three, four, five provinces, and then Stockholm's already covering these four. And Akershus is already covering these two. You know there needs to be like on the fort map mode it should show show the show the castles, yes, but show provinces that are covered underneath. Um like like show which provinces are covered underneath a zone of control. So, for example, like, it should be, like, green, and then, like, yellow, or something. Like, these these four and this could be yellow, so I could see these are covered. And then gray provinces are not covered. And then I could say, okay, well, if, if, if I'm just seeing this in my mind's eye right now, if this is all yellow, and this is all yellow, then it'd be pretty apparent that, like, building a fort here, or here, would be a good idea. Like, this one would give us one, two, three, four... We've got that one already covered, so yes, yeah, Schmaland, basically. I would share one adjacency. These these two would be both covering Ostergotland, which is a bit of a waste. But for now, I don't even think we're going to do it because they can't get in across this way. They can't get in this way. They can't. I mean, what are they going to do? They're going to somehow come into my Baltic Sea and and actually land troops here? No, this is my land. We can't get in here. So aside from that. Um, our development dictates that we're supposed to have 7.47950. We need to have 15 active forts. I think I just destroyed a bunch of them. And we only have 10. So army tradition from forts is going to be pretty low. But our income is going to be nice. We're spending 12 ducats a month on rebels, and we're still making a lot of money. Alright, church power. Forgot about that. We're still converting some stuff. But we probably don't need that missionary strength. We could get rid of it. Go with something else. If I didn't have missionary strength, I would want... I like morale of armies. Manpower recovery speed. Or the production efficiency. We're obviously going to have a rebellion over here. Maybe we'll get lucky and we can flip them over to Orthodox Zealots instead of Permian Separatists by trying to convert it. Still, it's going to take another six months. There's a pretty good chance they're going to rebel. Sure. What's this inflation thing you speak of? Alright, national focus, I think, should also be changed. Look at that. Administrative power generation. That's pretty solid. But we're ahead of time on that by a lot, and we don't really need those points. I guess it's time to buy down inflation. And I do still think I'm going to focus over to um, Prime Military or Diplomat. No, oh, we're doing a Military Idea Group. I think I'm going to just remove the focus. Instead of focusing Military, I do want some Diplo Power to keep, keep us caught up here. Well, maybe it would have been better. Probably could have done Military Focus. And Muscovy is... Muscovy's done. 
They're they're done. Just GG. I want to go through and make sure that I did upgrade all of these. Those are a bit extra, I think. These are expensive to upgrade. <laughs> England's being mean to France. Eight hundred and eighty one per month. Wow. I could probably spend this money a little bit better than just building forts that aren't ever going to get sieged, but I don't know. I just like the idea of having them. They're fun. Diplotech 13, more trade efficiency. We'll take it. I'd love to get caught up and get that trade efficiency bonus again. I think we're probably making more money off of, uh, yeah, production and taxation are both very, very high. We're doing okay on trade, but these Permian Separatists or whatever they were, they haven't revol revol revolted yet. Kazan. Not perm. Holy crap, can I actually see unrest in my personal union member? No way. Since when? Wiz, you've outdone yourself. Disorder and Western influences. Great. Now even our super, super tolerant Lithuanian country is going to have problems. Well, it is 1575, which means that we are almost done with our truce. In October, we can attack the Emperor. I think it's time. It's time we just do it. Either that, or we attack Poland for funsies. You know how when you use the Find Province interface? When you go like this, you say, like, Find Osterode, and it does this? I think that when you're trying to fabricate a claim on a country, it should, it should highlight the province you have clicked on. Just the exact same way. No, there goes our Siege guy! That's so sad. And I was really hoping I'd be able to get up to Land Leader Fire before hiring the next one, but I need two generals. 3632. Thank you, game. Hakon. Warrior. Warrior man. We should wait until we finish the mission, though, because we're very close to doing it. And the bonuses for getting it done will be nice. 10 years of extra 10% taxation. It's pretty solid. Ninety percent of maximum would be seven nine three six nine times point nine. Seventy one thousand four hundred and thirty two. So we're only looking at five months. We'll be there. Meanwhile, the Ottomans. Do you have any forts that are not active? Of course, as soon as I leave. You know, they've got they've got enough money to keep them all on. Kind of to be expected. All right, show them who's boss. Don't let them take this province. 
Ooh. Driven time. We will arrive on the second. That's tomorrow. Nice. Alright, you show them. A five. And then a seven. One is okay. I mean, come on now. Two ones back to back. What kind of crap is that? That's pretty pathetic, dude. Okay, you're allowed to have some reinforcements for this one. We were discovered. I wonder if that gives aggressive expansion. Muscovy's gone bankrupt. Again. Yeah, Muscovy's done. Just done. We're still supporting their rebels. They still haven't fired. I don't think that Crimea... I don't know how much they're going to take, actually. Crimea is occupied by Hungary. They have no claims on Muscovy. No guy's got cores, but they're not going to take a huge amount. We should have this mission here right now. Please stop it. This combat is slowing me down. Seven nine four five eight. There's point nine. Seven one five one two. Damn it, we're like sixty men shy. Thank you. Naval race with the Ottomans. Reclaim the holy city. Just go after Jerusalem. Or the rival of a rival make Kara like us. I like that one better. Alright, we're done with our manpower mission, so... Let's go kill Poland. France is defender of the Catholic faith, and they will protect them. Could call Bohemia into an offensive war. Let's save them for the, the one against Austria. Switzerland, Naples. I mean, the only person that matters is France. France is currently attacking England in the Brandenburgian succession war still. They are losing, technically. This is my Baltic coast, or whatever. So Hakan actually does have a little bit of siege value. Let's get him started on this one. still have Nils. Nils is a badass. And we've lost control of the uh, the thing. So I guess you just cannot have... If you're in an offensive war, I don't think you can be the leader of the, of the league. I think that's what it is. Orthodox Zealots. It's just because what? We'll see. Somehow I don't think that they're going to actually cause any major problems. Hmm. 
no adjacent forts. Unless this one counts as adjacent to Kelmno. But there's a fort right there. We'll suffer the extra attrition just to have the extra cannons there and a nice strong army. Well worth it, I think. That's what I want, Moldavia's army. Kill it. Nice work, Nils. Take it. Damn. Alright, well, I'm going to take a break here. Next war, or ne <laughs> next war. Next video, we will wrap up the war with Poland and then immediately declare on Austria. Look at all these forts that France has. But, um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.